Hi, so in order to talk about topic B, which involves price gouging, I'm gonna start us off by kind of just defining what price gouging is. So price gouging occurs when companies raise prices to unfair levels. There's no rule for what qualifies as price gouging technically, but it's not uncommon occurrence. For example, price gouging often occurs when there's a sudden surge in demand for a given good, service, or commodity, such as in the case of a natural disaster and emergencies. In times like these, the demand for non-essential items and luxuries dwindles, leading many businesses to lose the sales they normally rely on. To offset this loss, retailers might raise the price of essential items in an effort to stay in business. On the other hand, when the demand for essential items or services suddenly increases, the supply can quickly become very limited, further increasing prices as well as panic chaos across the members of society. With that being said, governments like anti-price gouging laws because consumers vote and businesses don't. Being seen stepping into the breach defending people suffering from some setback is a great visual for a politician and makes them look super good because they're supporting the people. Every political consultant on the planet would agree that politicians are choosing the right side when it comes to these issues and would support them. Unfortunately, every economist would tell these government members that while some people will benefit from anti-price gouging laws, others people will suffer because of them. Artificially holding prices lower than it would be to take to balance supply and demand means that consumers lucky enough to buy some of the product in short supply get a better price than what they would have without the anti-price gouging law. Yet at the same time, holding prices lower than the market clearing price means that the supply will run out and some consumers will have to go without. And when that comes to essential goods, it can be super dangerous. Therefore, instead of implementing these price gouging laws that restrict large price increases during natural disasters, we could advocate either for a laissez-faire market, meaning we allow supply and demand to take its natural course, or we raise prices to bring demand in line with supply. By allowing the market to work, economists argue products will remain available and sold only to those who value them most. High prices also mitigate hoarding, Customers only buy what they need instead of saying that it's pretty cheap, let's just buy them all. Just as important, a higher profit potential motivates companies to proactively procure additional supplies to satisfy demand. The role that the government would play to ensure this equilibrium between supply and demand would be aiding the various businesses with their supply chain by supporting the stock of their products that are being demanded. Thank you.